I know as car guys and gals, we probably wouldn't consider some of these cars as sleepers, but when you consider how they look, well, I mean, come on. These five modern cars are deceptively fast relative to what most individuals, i.e. non-car people, would assume. The first one would have to be the BMW M8 Competition. Let me be clear, as car guys and gals, we all know what the M moniker means on the BMW. However, show the M8 against, say, a regular 8 Series to a non-car person, and they're gonna pull the classic meme, similar to those who look at a Shelby Mustang and say, hey, my boyfriend has that same car, and it ends up just being an EcoBoost Mustang. So rest assured, those two cars, I mean the BMW M8 and an 8 Series, are very different. In any case, I want to give you some quick stats for the M8 competition. For the new 2020 BMW M8 competition, it can go 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds, with car and driver even touting an amazing 2.5 seconds, 0 to 60, quarter mile in 10.7, and allegedly 0 to 150 in 15 seconds. Now, I know those numbers don't really mean a whole lot or put things into perspective, but I'll give you a few examples. Take the C7 Corvette Z06. Most people would assume that this vet would beat the BMW M8. I myself am included. However, from 0 to 150, it takes 17 to 18 seconds bone stock. And a modern 200 horsepower or 200 plus horsepower superbike, aka liter bikes, can go 0 to 200 miles in approximately 20 seconds. In other words, this big BMW can go toe to toe with both supercars and super bikes. That's kind of mind blowing considering that this thing is a two ton plus hunk of metal that looks unsuspecting when compared to the likes of these. Listen, hats off to BMW for killing it with their new generation of M cars and I hope for their continued success. Number two would have to be an oldie but goodie, the Chevrolet SS sedan. At this point, many of you guys watching this video are already aware of the Chevrolet SS sedan and its sleeper status. I mean, for God's sake, this thing could easily be confused for a Malibu or an Impala from behind at a quick glance. It's a shame Chevy had to discontinue this badass, but with a few performance mods and if you could get your hands on this, this guy could keep up with virtually any sports car out there, all while sounding so damn good with that LS3 motor. So, if you want a fast Chevy that isn't the typical Camaro or Corvette, then maybe find yourself one of these bad boys. Plus, they can seat four people rather comfortably. Number three is the Mercedes-Benz AMG E63S sedan. Again, a normal person would look at this Mercedes and just assume it's just an ordinary E-Class, right? Only problem is, this four-door sedan can put a serious beating on some high-performance sports cars of today and supercars of yesteryear. 0-60 to 60 in 3.3 seconds or 3 seconds flat, according to Car and Driver. I mean, hot damn. Just look at these stats. Are the Germans trying to kill the Italians with sedans and big four-seater coupes? These figures are within spitting distance of some exotic supercars. Let's hope that we, the consumers, continue to see amazing products from Germany. Number four is the 2019 and up Audi RS5. I'd be remiss if I didn't at least mention Audi in this list video. Namely, the 2019 and up Audi RS5. Like the BMW M series or Mercedes AMG cars, Audi has its own lineup of high performance cars in that of the RS models. The RS5 Sportback in particular looks unassuming, yet it's just another big luxury sedan that can easily be confused for, say, an Audi A5 to a non-car guy. The numbers, however, are quite impressive, with 0-60 to 60 in 3.8 seconds and a top speed of 174 miles per hour. That's nothing to scoff at. And number 5, the 2019 and up Volvo S60 T8 Polestar. Alright, so if you made it this far into the video, I promise I'm done talking about German cars. One car not many people are talking about is the Volvo S60 T8 Polestar. With a 0-60 to 60 time in the mid fours, all while looking like, you know, just an ordinary sedan, nothing special. I mean, no offense to you Volvo fans out there. Nobody would have guessed that this thing could keep up with a Mustang GT and or the Camaro SS, all while having a respectable MPG. 
Alrighty, that wraps up this short video. Let's hope that we can continue to see more and more performance animals in our everyday looking cars. Let me know in the comment section below, what's your favorite sleeper? It could be from this era, it could be from years past. Just let me know in the comment section below. But until then, I'll have to catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.